I've got a, um, I assume this is pronounced Benki, it's B-E-N-K-I-I -I umbrella. And I did a little bit of research online and I was trying to find an umbrella that was really sturdy, uh, something that was relatively large in size when it's open, and something that's small and portable. And I bought this Binky because it had all of those reviews, and I'm going to do a little bit of a measurement here because I personally think it's a little bigger than some of the miniature umbrellas out there. So if you look at this, it's about uh, 12 inches long, and it's pretty wide in, in girth. It's, it's a good 3 inches. If you're, if you're looking down at it, it's got a good size, and it's pretty heavy. It's not light by any means, so if you're going to put this in your briefcase, you're going to weight it down a little bit. However, that being said, the umbrella is very robust, very strong, and built very well. Like any other uh, portable umbrella that you could buy, uh, even the cheaper ones are the most expensive ones. They all have a little sleeve on them, or at least most of them do. The sleeve is actually pretty thick. Uh, it's actually thicker than the umbrella material. Um, it's, it'll be tough. I don't think you're going to tear the sleeve up. Not that that's important, but to some people it may be. And you have your typical button strap on the umbrella. Nothing special here. But where this umbrella gets special is its construction. And we'll open this thing up. And it is a push button automatic. So we open it up. It opens up like a regular umbrella. But this particular umbrella is quite large. And I don't know if I can if I can show the detail on this, but there is some metal ribbing. But the majority of it is uh, fiberglass type poles that run all the way down through there. And the fiberglass poles are really, really strong and you're not going to break them. And this particular company claims that 60 mile an hour winds will not tear this umbrella up. And this umbrella is quite heavy. I do believe that it would probably handle 60 mile an hour winds. Now, it might not handle 60 mile an hour winds from this side. But if you're leaning into the winds, there's no doubt in my mind it would probably handle it. The other feature this umbrella has, which is not unique, but a nice feature, is it does have the self-retract self button, which is kind of nice. It doesn't retract it all the way, but it does collapse it, and then you can just fold it up and you're ready to go. Measured from um, across the umbrella, it's actually almost 41 inches. Uh, this is an impressive size for a portable umbrella. And again, the quality on this umbrella is really good. Uh, even the handle, it has more of, a, of an octagon uh, type structure, as you can see in the light there, uh, which just makes it that much more stronger. Uh, the handle itself has a, um, it's a padded um, um, you know, handle with a, like a pleather or maybe even a leather. I'm not sure if it's real or fake, but, but it's soft underneath it. It feels really good in your hand despite the weight. And again, the only major issue that I that I have with this uh, umbrella, and it's not really an issue, it's just a little bigger than some of your micro umbrellas, and that might just be because the fabric is so thick and so good, uh, and you know it doesn't have thin metal rods. It actually has, um, you know, their fiberglass poles, so that takes up some substantial size as well. So when it's all collapsed, that's got a pretty big, um, you know, pretty big space that's going to take up in your briefcase. I suppose it would fit in a larger briefcase without any issues. Uh, other than that, it's a great umbrella. It's well worth its price. And again, it's called the, uh, I think it's called Benki, B-E-N-K-I-I. -I. Uh, you can find the umbrella on Amazon. It's not too expensive. Uh, I want to say in the neighborhood of $20, $25 if you find it on sale.